how to upload 10,000 NFTs on OpenSeas easily. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can upload 10,000 NFTs to OpenSeas using a bot. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, before I begin, I just want to tell you that I did a video on this before. And in that video, I showed you how you can capture the movement of your mouse and how you can use it to upload NFTs onto OpenSeas, right? But that was very obsolete. That was very hard, uh, you know, a lot of errors. But in this method, I'm going to show you how you can do it with a simple step. So let's get into it. So over here, first things you're going to download is the python right you're going to download the latest version of python for windows so simply click on download python download it and just simply install it right and the next thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to come over here onto github and you're going to you know download this program and don't worry i'm going to leave the link down in the description below so you won't have to worry about this so once the python has been downloaded just open it up and run it here we go you know it was already installed but i'm just simply going to go ahead and repair it again but just for the sake of this video all right so now the python has been installed we'll close it and now we'll download this file so we'll just simply click on code and download it as zip and we are good to go so well now we're going to download this one as well i'm going to put this you know over here in this folder where i have my nfts over here so that i can find it later on so i'm going to simply start download and boom here we go so now i'm just simply going to open the folder and i'm going to extract the context of this folder so don't worry this is a program you won't have to do any coding or whatsoever everything is done already however as i said before you're going to need python and chrome browser and you're going to have to install pip install as well but it's already installed with the python so then we're just simply going to copy these you know options right here and we are good to go so now once you know it has been installed the program this is how it's going to look like right so pretty simple right nothing too crazy now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our command prompt over here we're going to run it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the you know directory where i have this program right so this is the folder i'm just simply going to copy the directory and i'm going to come over here and i'm going to enter cd and i'm going to paste the directory and i'm going to click on enter now what we need to do is we need to come over here onto github and we need to copy this text file all right and we're going to paste it over here and we're going to click on enter and it's gonna run there we go boom it's done now we just need to run the script over here we'll copy this one right here this text and we'll paste it over here and we'll click on run and boom here we go so this is the program right here this is how it looks like as you can see now what we need to do is we need to input the location so over here we need to enter in the OpenSea collection link over here we need to start the number you know start number with which our nfts you know start so over here one two three four and then the end number is going to be 64 and then we have the price the title the description and image nft format and then we have the external link if you want to add that and then we have the option to either you know put it on polygon blockchain or whatever now what we need to do is first create a collection so we're going to open up chrome by clicking on this button right here it's going to open up over here and what we're going to do is we're just simply going to click on get started boom next yeah yeah whatever so now we're going to open up open seas actually first let me just log into my account actually i'm not going to do that i'm just simply going to go ahead and click on open sea over here and i'm going to click on open sea and over here what we need to do is log in and to log in we need to create a wallet right we need to have a cryptocurrency wallet such as metamask or a coinbase or whatever i'm going to use metamask and i'm going to click on it and it's going to ask me to install metamask for chrome i'm going to click on that and I'm going to add that to the Chrome browser, add the extension, and we are good to go. Now, once it's added and downloaded, we're going to create an account for MetaMask, and then we can log in into our OpenSea account. There we go. We're going to turn on sync for now, and we're going to log in into our account as well. Okay, so now we just simply click on get started, and now we have the two options in front of us. So if you already have a wallet, just simply click on import wallet with the secret recovery phase, or if you don't have one, you can create a wallet over here. So I already have a wallet, so I'm going to click on import, and I'm going to add in my secret recovery phase over here, and we are good to go. And boom, we are good to go. So we're all done. We are now logged into our MetaMask account. Now we just go back to OpenSeas and reload the page over here here and now we just input our wallet our metamask wallet over here it's going to open up the notification and then we just simply click on connect and it's going to connect to open C's account boom there we go now what we can do is we kind of click on our profile and we're going to go over to my collection and create a new collection so we're going to click on create a collection and over here i'm going to sign the transaction real quick and now we are good to go so over here just input the logo image the featured image and the banner image if you have one 
So I'll just open up the logo image over here. Just gonna put the image of my NFT. Then I'm gonna feature this image. And then I'm gonna put the banner image. I don't have the banner image, so I'm gonna leave it blank for now. And then we're gonna name the collection. So I'm gonna call it Not Crypto Punks. I'm gonna copy the name as well. And then we have the URL over here. Not so crypto punks. Maybe that is available. There we go. We're gonna paste that over there. And now we have the link. Then we can add in the description and the category, and we are good to go, right? So now we're gonna change it to Polygon. And here we go. Now we just add the token USDC or DAI. And now we are good to go. So I guess I really have to enter not so crypto punks. There we go. I guess I really have to upload the banner image as well. So I'm just simply gonna choose that image. And now we just simply click on create, wait for it to be created and we can move on. There we go. The collection has now been created. Now what I'll do is I'll open up the program. There we go. And I'm gonna enter in the title. There we go, not so crypto punks over here. And then over here, we're gonna add in the link to our collection at the top. Then we're gonna stick with the start number. So the start number is one and the end number is 64. Start number is one, end number is 64. And the price is gonna be 0 0.05. And then over here, we can add the description and image format is WEBP, WEBP. And then you have your external link if you want to. And I'm gonna check the polygon box. Now over here, you can write anything you want and we are good to go. And now we just simply click on start and it should work. So once you click on start, we are good to go. Okay, so I think we have to add the external link as well. So I'm just simply gonna add in my own website's link. Now we just simply save the form and click on start. Okay, I forgot to mention, we also have to upload the NFT upload folder as well. Otherwise it's not gonna work. So we're gonna click over here. Now we're gonna choose the folder where our NFTs are at. So over here on pictures, NFTs, assets. So we're gonna select that folder and now we should be good to go. Now, if I click on start, it should work. So just wait for a couple of seconds it's not responding it should work i have tried this before it did work previously so hopefully it'll work again so over here as you can see it's happening it's creating the collection and it's uploading the images over here and it's working i think over here yeah there we go is it working i think so it opened up the tab it should work now let's see it was working right now okay maybe i had messed it up a little bit because i flicked it away from it but uh it should work let's see it opened it up it added all of the things over here and even added the image okay one minute i think i know what happened okay let's try again i mean it worked previously okay so it's opening up in another tab over here as you can see there we go it's working there we go it's pasting all of the things there you go almost done boom it actually works so yeah guys as you can see it works but it's still a little bit you know it's not showing the image but i'm pretty sure if you clicked on create you know click over here it should work okay i think it's not working because my computer is not that good i think it's not working because my computer is not powerful because it keeps giving me the runtime you know the timeout exception because i think it runs out of memory so yeah but i'm pretty sure it'll work for you because it previously worked for me as well like i created a collection over here that worked for me let me show you so over here like this one over here like these nine nfts that i uploaded over here it worked for me then but i don't know why it didn't work for me right now like these were some of the previous nfts that i created and it worked by then it has been a little while since it, i recently uploaded but it should work for you because it worked for me as well same thing follow these steps and you are good to go so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye